What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I ordered a few fragrances from Fragrance Buy. I'm pretty bad about that whenever I see them stocks and things. So I've got Proud of You Absolute, Strong With You Absolutely clone. So I've been kind of on this thing with Fragrance World with their designer clones that if it's something I'm a really big fan of, I want to see what the clone's like. Does this need to exist? Is it a worthy affordable replacement? We're going to find out. And then Nikos Sculpture Parfum. Been wanting to check this one out for a while. It's a straight up cheapie that they have stocked. I've been reaching back and spending time with the original. So curious to see how this stacks up. And then supposedly this Mandarina Duck fragrance, Vita Loca, smells similar to Le Beau Le Parfum. So with that, could this be a serviceable, affordable alternative for those of you that are always asking me where to find Le Beau Le Parfum? I don't know. I'm hoping so. We're going to find out. We'll bust these open. We'll check them out. We'll give them a first impressions rating. Stay tuned. So I guess we'll start with what seems to be the freshest, Mandarina Duck Vita Loca. I've never tried a Mandarina Duck fragrance. Again, this is supposed to be like Le Bola Parfum, so it's like, hmm, I feel like it's my duty to check this one out. Again, I, I bought these from Fragrance Buy. I do have affiliates, affiliate links down below if you'd like to help support the channel and pick up anything you're interested in in this video, but no, they didn't send them my way. Well, that's a pleasing tropical aesthetic now, isn't it? Mandarina Duck, a green to teal color scheme. Cheap cap that holds very strongly into place. We do have something on that hand, so we'll go to this hand where there is nothing. Good atomizer. Very juicy pineapple smell. Very juicy pineapple smell. This does smell like Le Beau. I don't know if it necessarily smells like the Le Parfum. It kind of smells like it falls in between the Eau de Toilette and the Parfum, but it's the first few seconds. So we're going to bear with this scent for a moment. I get the correlation to the Parfum. It is a little bit more dense and sweet. It smells like a green facet to it. Again, That that's not there in the eau de toilette so i guess i understand where the internet's tying this to la bola parfum it is not the exact same fragrance at least in the opening but it's clear as day that it's very similar and i paid 30 some odd dollars for this I forgot exactly how much very fresh very bright tropical fun daytime casual high heat fragrance does have that coconut smell to it, a little bit of a sunscreen vibe, but not bad. There's something else here with the fruitiness. It's not, it can't just be pineapple. I like it. I like it. Let's pull up the notes. One minute, 37 seconds later. So here we go. They have a men's and a women's version. Vita Loca for him, 7.5 out of 10, only four ratings on Parfumo. I'll have it on screen for you guys. Synthetic, yeah. Fruity, yeah. Fresh, yeah. Sweet, yes. Woody, eh, not so far yet. Madagascan, Mandarin Orange, Mint, and Pineapple. So there's that other citrus. Because it, it stood out as more than just pineapple to me. So that makes sense. A little orange, okay. Okay, not specific orange, but citrus to go along with fruit. Mint, there's your freshness. Heart notes of coconut, lavender, Madagascan, geranium, and sage. So loads of aromatics and coconut. Help brighten this thing up. Madagascan vetiver. They like Madagascar with this fragrance. Tonka bean and vanilla. So there's a lot of the notes are similar. So instead of cypress, you have sage and mint. <laughs> Basically sage and mint kind of substitutes for the fresh green cypress smell. You got pineapple. Instead of bergamot, you got orange. You got the coconut, you got the, the aromatics, you have the tonka bean. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Is it as good as La Bola Parfum? No. No, it's not. But on a budget. But on a budget. In fact, let me just so I can tell you guys exactly how much it is here. 
Let's take a quick look and see. More moments later. $34.84 US. Bonafide cheapy. Because I knew it was 30 something dollars. I couldn't remember exactly how much. I think it's very good. 7.5 out of 10. It's fresher. It has more of the... I feel like it's going to perform more like the Eau de Toilette with a similar scent profile to the Le Parfum. Like, think that formula with a lower oil concentration. Is this... This is an Eau de Toilette. It smells like it would be. It's very fresh and airy. I'm digging it. I'm absolutely digging it. In fact, I'm going to wear it on my next beach day in a few days from the recording of this video. Mandarin to Duck Vita Loca. It's solid. Very good. 7.5 out of 10. Next, let's go with Nikos Sculpture Parfum, shall we? I got so much pink going on in this backdrop behind the box, it doesn't want to focus. Okay, so blue instead of clear. Very deep, dark blue. Dig it, though. I like the uniqueness, almost that shark tooth look in many ways to the bottle. I do like that. Love the atomizers, too. The atomizers are great. I literally yesterday sprayed the original. I got nothing. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of nothing. Let's see. Give it a spray. Oh, now I smell the original. That creamy orange blossom type of smell. I do get a little of that out in the air. So let's wave off some of this perfumer's alcohol. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, it smells very much like the original. Okay, a real flanker. And they flankered right. Right away, I smell the original sculpture. This is a little more scratchy, but not quite as synthetic. Like, what do I mean? Like, it's got this rough fizziness to it. Like, it's... Abrasive may not be the best word, but I don't mean it in an offensive manner. Like, it's, it's rough. It's got this kind of scratchy feel to it. It still has that creamy, spicy, orange blossom type of smell to it. It does smell like a richer version of the original. This is about as realistic of a flanker as it gets. Smells like a stronger version. Higher oil concentration, not necessarily stronger, but a little bit stronger. But higher oil concentration of the original. I wonder if the notes are identical because it smells pretty similar. Like really, really similar. It's richer. It is a strong. It does have a stronger aroma. It does. It could almost be called intense. It's a more intensified smell to the original. It's not as bright and airy. Higher oil concentration. That's exactly how it should behave most of the time. Ooh. This is a good one. Let's check out the notes. 12 seconds later. 2022 release. 8.7 out of 10 with 96 ratings. The internet's loving this one. Floral, fresh, sweet, synthetic, citrus. I can agree with all of that. So the notes do seem to be pretty similar. Lemon, coriander, orange blossom, bergamot, mandarin, orange, lily of the valley, geranium, jasmine, lavender, tonka bean, benzoin, amber, cedar. Similar to the original, wooden spices, and which fragrance is this from Zerzov? Shooting Stars, Uden, the Shooting Stars collection. Supposedly, supposedly smells similar to Uden. Seems to have pretty good ratings across the board, performance and everything. It does smell like a richer version of the original. If you have the original, super redundant. Super redundant. If you love the original and it's one of your favorite fragrances, that's who I would think should get this one. It's an intensified, thicker version of the original. Like it smells pretty much the same. I'm just curious on how similar the note breakdown is to the original. Let me click and look. It looks identical to me. Geranium rose. It's the same note breakdown. They literally increased the oil concentration. I don't think they reblended it. I mean, they had to do a new blend, obviously, but it's the same oils. It's probably the same formula at higher concentration. It literally smells that way, too. It smells like they just increase the oil concentration, which most people say they want. But do you really want that when you smell this next to the original and you're like, holy crap, it's the same fragrance. But wears a little heavier. It's a little bit more robust. 
that's what a real parfum is. That's what literally, this is, it's so rare to come across this, I find, where they literally took the same fragrance and just enhanced the oils. They raised the oil concentration. It's like, take it from me, when you're picking the oil concentration, it's the same formula. The base will come out more as you go, and you'll lose some of the top as you go up in oil concentration, but don't adjust the formula. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. I'm so in awe of the fact that they literally just increased the oil concentration. And I think it's better. And it's like 27 bucks. Like, this smells to the richness of wooden spices from Montal. This is closer to wooden spices from Montal than the original was because of the enhanced oil concentration. It wears heavier. It's thicker overall. This is a great flanker, let alone great fragrance. This is 8 out of 10. I'm excited about this because this is a great talking point. This fragrance makes for a great talking point when comparing it to the original because this truly is just an increase of oil concentration without a tweak of formula. You don't see that all that much. I don't. With all the fragrances I get, I don't see that happen all that much. And I can appreciate that they actually went that route. Bold in some ways with the way the market works, because it's like it's buying the same fragrance with more oil. Some people will appreciate that. Somebody, Some people will be like, oh, they didn't change nothing about it. This is what most people clamor for. So I say kudos to Nikos, Greek brand. Doing some really good work. I'm glad I scooped this up. I was not expecting it to just be, because I hadn't looked at the notes. Uh, it's the same note breakdown. It smells the same, just richer. A true higher oil concentration flanker. Kudos. 8 out of 10. Nikos Sculpture Parfum. I can't believe that they did that. <laughs> I'm still in shock. Proud of you, Absolute. Fragrance World's version of Stronger With You, Absolute. This is my... So Stronger With You from Emporio Armani is one of my favorite designer men's fragrance lines. The Absolute is my favorite one. If I had to pick just one to keep, it's the Absolute. And they ripped the bottle off. I don't like the ripping off of the bottles. The scent profile is one thing, but... Like, that is... I mean, is there any chance they're going for a different fragrance? No. <laughs> it has the gradients. The shape of the bottle is pretty accurate. It's heavy. The cap's a little different, but still same shape. Heavy cap. That's where a lot of the weight is. That is... I'm sure the mic picked that up. And that's dropping on a thick mouse pad onto wood. This is hefty. It holds okay, but it doesn't click into place. I wouldn't trust it, personally. But here's the moment of truth. So, I have their Lamal Le Parfum clone. It's spot on. It's phenomenal. I have their F Le Parfum, the Y Le Parfum clone. It's pretty spot on. It's phenomenal. That's what sparked me to get this, because this is another one that's out of stock all the time. So if there's an affordable way to smell pretty much the same, I have to explore it. It's my duty to do the due diligence. Let's see. And if it's not good enough, I'm going to shit all over it. But I can tell you smell it in the air. It is going to be impressive, I think, anyways. Immediately, I smell strong with you, absolutely. That's what I'm looking for. There's a little difference here in the top. It could be the perfumer's alcohol messing with me a little bit here. The top is not identical. It smells like Stronger With You. Don't get me wrong here. This is clearly a dupe of Stronger With You. Absolutely, because there's more booze than the real deal has. It's a hefty dose of rum. A lot of it. Not a bad thing, but it's not a carbon copy. Maybe that's not a bad thing either. I don't know. We'll see as we go. I get a lot of the chestnut, which may not even be listed in here. I don't know. We'll try to find a note breakdown here in a little bit, but I get that dry chestnut smell, that roasted chestnut. I do get the toffee sweetness that Intensely is known for. I do get that sweet smell. I get some cinnamon spice. It's warm and ambery, but it's a load of rum. This is more boozy than the real deal that it's cloning. A little medicinal smelling, actually. I wasn't expecting it. It's got a little bit of a medicinal feel to it, but not off-putting in any way. I don't want anybody to confuse what I'm saying. 
it's good, but it's not. I was looking for carbon copy because the last two were pretty much carbon copy. Slight difference, like F Le Parfum's a little bit spicier, and then it dries down a little bit creamier than the original. But I mean, slight differences here. And then um, Essentia Le Homme Le Parfum, the Le Mal Le Parfum clone, pretty much the same fragrance. Like, not really any difference there. Here, as as it settles, it's getting closer and closer and closer. The, the, that rum is calming down a little bit. It's a hefty amber rum smell in the top. But, you know, for the money, how much did I pay for this? Let's look real quick. 10 seconds later. 37 bucks versus over 100 when in stock. Those rare times that it happens. For Strong With You, absolutely. It's less than half the price, close to a third of the price. It smells pretty close. It's not a carbon copy. In the opening, we're talking the opening. Heft, heft, weight, weapon. Don't drop this on your foot. You're gonna break a bone in your foot. Barefoot, you mess your foot up. And if you like rum, you'll like it. It does smell like strong with you, absolutely. Just not the right balance. It's not blended the same way. But I do think it's just an absolutely acceptable substitution not a carbon copy real quick let's pull up the notes let me see what i can find a few minutes later okay so i did find a note breakdown let's see cardamom pepper grass and bergamot lavender cinnamon sage vanilla tonka beans musk woody amber i'm sorry i get a hefty dose of rum i don't know how that's not listed here i get all the spices the cinnamon and stuff like that the aromatics i, I get that Definitely get the sweetness and that woody, ambery smell. It dominates the fragrance. That's the main accord. Besides, I get a, do a big dose of booze. I smell rum. I smell rum. It could be benzoin that they're calling amber. And benzoin can sometimes come across a little boozy, at least to me, in certain fragrances, like Nishane Ani. Obviously, this is not going to be the same benzoin oil, but I, I get a booziness to it. Plenty of spices and woods and amber, though. It, that's the main stars of the show with some booze. I think this is very good. It's not blowing me away. It's not as good as the original. The other two I talked about, they're pretty much as good as the original that they're cloning. They are. I put the stamp of approval on those. This is a great take on it. Not superb. It's not outstanding. Like the other two, when it comes to being a carbon copy, this has its own twist. It's still a great fragrance, though. That's the thing. It's not getting the 9 and 9.5 that the other two got, but it's still going to get an 8 out of 10. It's still a great fragrance. It's just I have to preface this with the other two designer clones that I got from Fragrance World that I just raved about. One got a 9 out of 10, one got a 9.5 out of 10 in full reviews and in first impressions. I was just blown away. I did full reviews. And I will do a full review on this one in the coming weeks. I gotta spend some more time with it. But in this first impressions, it's not a carbon copy. They don't list booze, but I get booze. The balance is a little different, but it's still, it's clearly, they were going for strong with you, absolutely. It's not as good as the original, but it's still for 30 to $40 range. I think it's good, really good, great. Eight out of 10. Well, that's my first impressions on these straight up cheapies that I bought from Fragrance Buy. Links down below. Uh, one, they're not. it's not a clone, but you can tell they were going a similar path for Le Bol de Parfum. I would call it inspired by, for sure. Proud of you, absolute clone, but not carbon copy. And then uh, Nikos Sculpture Parfum. It is Nikos Sculpture, the original, just a higher oil concentration. I'm very impressed by that. So all really good fragrances. I'll do some full reviews on all three of these. I think all three of these warrant the separate time spent with some full reviews over the next several weeks. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested in hearing more after I spend time with them. I will do those in the coming weeks. And until next time, do me a quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Have you tried any of these three? What do you think about them? Definitely sound off in the comments. I'm very curious. Uh, do you get booze? And proud of you absolute like I do. Is it my mind playing tricks on me? That could be a thing. That does happen. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the three that I picked up in this video. And you give them a spray now. There's always that chance that you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.